Well, there have been many criticisms, and I'm not going to say that they're not valid, because I think some of them are, are very interesting and are worthy of consideration. The criticisms, I would say, primarily come out of academia, and they're often framed in terms of contrasting the investment regime with the World Trade Organization regime, which is another area of my specialized interest. The, the WTO has a state-to-state -state dispute settlement mechanism, but the investment treaties have an investor state, so the investor can bring claims directly against the host state. Why is this so offensive to so many people? Well, it's perceived as being an affront to sovereignty. And the sovereignty that I'm referring to is the sovereignty of that host country's judicial system. You enter a foreign country, you come into conflict with their laws, how do you resolve it? We well, resolve it in the courts of that country. That's what sovereignty means. Uh, investment treaties, investor state district settlements say no, you're not going to resolve it in the courts of that country. You're going to resolve it in an international tribunal composed of arbitrators selected by the parties, not by judges that are appointed by governments. And in many uh, times, you'll see these uh, hearings being conducted in, in private and, in, and with a, a less than coherent body of jurisprudence behind them and some inconsistencies and so on. But it's really this idea of not allowing the host state courts to resolve the dispute and it, this being an affront to sovereignty. And I think to many in academia, this is sort of seen as being emblematic of the multinational corporation muscling its way in, in, into the, the, the rights of the, the sovereign country, uh, trampling on that country's rights, let's say to self-regulate, maybe for environmental purposes, health purposes, whatever, and, and all these legitimate forms of regulation, if you will, being reframed as expropriations. Right. Well, the, the country wants to impose an environmental law. Oh, well, that's an indirect expropriation, and I deserve compensation for it. So that's the essence of the criticism. And there's definitely some validity in that. Uh, but I think the, the system is improving, uh, and it, it's, it's becoming a, a lot more balanced than it was, let's say, 20 years ago.